Hello everyone, I hope everybody is doing well and safe at home. As you can see on my screen, topic for today or the agenda for today for the quick learning is how you can attach an EBS volume to multiple instances, especially on the Linux side. I'm, why I'm saying especially on the Linux side is because the data consistency is a problem on the Windows side of the world. You can do the same scenario, but data consistency is a bigger problem over there. Now, earlier when EBS was there few years back, we were able to attach EBS to one single instances, right? Now they have a feature called EBS multi-attach. So you can just click one option as multi-attach and use that particular volume to associate with multiple instances on the Linux side of the house. Now, again, there are like limitations over here. Obviously, the volume and your instances should be in the same availability zone. Plus, the multi-attach functionality is only available with provisioned IOPS volumes, not with a general purpose GP2 or magnetic. It is only available with IO1 and IO2. As you can see on my diagram, we are in same availability zone where we have multiple instances and attaching one EBS volume inside VPC of an AWS infrastructure. So that's how the scenario will be going to look like for our practical scenario and we'll be going to do it on our AWS console. Again, there, there are limitation over here. You can attach 16 or associate 16 Linux instances to one EBS multi-attach volume. So let's jump to our AWS management console and perform a demo. That's my AWS management console. As you can see, I have created two Linux instances. This is Amazon Linux. Mostly I prefer to play around with the Amazon Linux because I'm comfortable running a command with the Amazon Linux or CentOS flavor of Linux instances. So that's another scenario, right? We'll discuss that later when we'll be doing some sort of uh, testing on Ubuntu or different flavor of OS. Now, we have two instances and each instances is associated with a root volume, right? This is EBS01 and this is EBS02. First, let's create a volume called multi-attach. Oh, we already have a volume as multi-attach, but let me create a volume it can be GP2, sorry, it cannot be GP2, it cannot be GP3. The option is only available with IO1. As you can see, there is no option for multi-attach. So let's click IO1, which is SST. I'm not going with 100 gigs because this is just a demo. So why to pay for 100 gigs? And for IO1, which is basically a faster SSD drive, for 5 gig, the IOPS, minimum IOPS is 250, as you can see over here. Sorry, the minimum is 100, right? So depend upon your requirement, you can play around with it. Availability zone, I believe I have created my instances in 1B. As I said, the volumes are zonal specific. So you can only attach volume to an instance if they are on the same zone. There is an option of EBS multi-attach. Let's click on that. You can encrypt your volume. Um, I don't have a custom key, so let's go with the default. Always prefer to use the security. Now, let's give this name as multi-attach2 because I already have a multi-attach name tag. So let's create a volume. So this is our new volume, right? 5 gig IO1 and there is a checkbox of multi-attach enabled, yes. Let's click on action and attach a volume. 1B fetching the instances. Let's select test EBS02 first, dev STF, attach a volume. Uh, okay, there is another uh, major pointer is we cannot attach multi or we cannot take an advantage of multi attach volume to a non nitro instances. So T2 micros are non nitro instances. So in order to change that or make this working, we have to stop the instance first. Let's turn that to a nitro base instance. So T3 micros are ni uh, nitro instances, C5 are nitro instances. They're like list of instances which are nitro base, R5s are nitro, 
then uh, I, I believe M5s are also Nitro, but again, they're like list of uh, instance type what Amazon has belong to the Nitro instances. So let's wait for this instance to stop. This instance has nothing over here, so ideally it should be fast. So let's wait for it and we'll be going to change the instance type real quick. And then we'll try to attach the volume. Okay, first instance is stop, instance setting, change instance type, and search for T3. T3 micro, apply. So first instance is done. This is still getting stopped. Yep. Instance setting, type, and search for T3 micro. There we go, apply. Now we'll be going to start both the instances at the same time. Perfect. So the instances is converted into the Nitro one because T3s are Nitro in nature. Let's wait for this to come up. It's in running state, right? Let's go to volume again. Multi attach to which is the new volume. Click on attach volume. Still fetching out the instances. Okay let's attach so first volume is already attached to it we can do the same thing again click on the same volume actions and click attach since the multi attach function is enabled as you can see attach instance that's the one we attach right ebs02 second one we'll be going to attach with ebs01 perfect so both the volumes has been attached, sorry, one volume has been attached with both the instances. Now in order to make this working, we have to follow certain configuration because these volumes are, we have to convert these volumes into a file system first. How can we do that? So go to the instances and click connect. We'll be going to connect both the instances and we'll perform a few of the commands. Click connect. Okay, now uh, this is what? This is EBS01 as you can see. I guess I have connected to EBS01 at the same time. So instances again, click connect, connect. This is EBS02. Perfect. Let's sudo to it. And there is there are like certain commands that uh, we can use to check so first of all, let's you let's check if uh, the volume is attached or not. Lsblk is the command. As you can see, NVMe one N one is the new volume with five gig disk, right? Now, in order to check whether we have a file system or not, what we can do is, I guess that's the command. Then dev nv M E one N one. Let me see. Sorry, it's file, not FS. That's my bad. Come on, file S dev N N V M E one N one. Okay, as you can see, it's showing data over here, which means this doesn't have a file system in, into it. We can check the same thing on this other server, which is basically EBS02. I'm into EBS01. Let's go to EBS02, sudo to it, and we'll use the same. File, ness, dev, nv, m, e, one, n, one. Yep. So we have to perform or we have to make this into file system only on one server because when you convert into the file system, there are like chances if you already have a data into it, then it will, you, you might lose the data over there. So let's go to EBS01 and uh, we'll perform few of the commands. This is for making file system XFS. Let's do that. Why it's not copying it? copy and 
no it's not copying it so i have to write it mkfs hyphen t x f s and then dev n v m e1 n1 so now as you can see this is uh, changing into the file system let's let's try to check so this is sgi xfs file system data is there now in order to make this working as i said let's create a directory uh, test file system and we'll be going to mount this file system with this particular volume so mount dev nvme1 n1 and test file system mounting is done how we can check that df-h as you can see it has been mounted to test file system now let's cd into it test fs uh sorry test fs and we'll create a file touch server.txt so we have a file over here now the same file will should be present on the other server how let's see so as of now obviously we don't have anything but we convert we have converted this particular file system the new one which we added the multi-attached volume into a file system so we should be able to see over here as well as hgi xfs but in order to have that particular created file to be present on this particular system as well we have to do the mounting so let's create another folder mkdir shared file system okay and we will be going to mount dev nbm e1 n1 and sorry then shared fs so mounting is done as you can see let's go to shared file system and do ls the same file is present over here so that's how you are creating or you are putting a file on one server it's getting replicated immediately to all the other servers where the volume has been attached to this is very useful when when it comes to the cluster level of environment which makes the data replication pretty fast this is kind of a nas location you can say when we used to work with nas location long back so this is kind of a same system but there are like limitations if you ask my personal opinion i rather prefer to go with EFS which is better in nature because EFS where you create one file system and it auto grows auto shrink based upon how much data you are inserting into a file over there and based on that you have to pay for it the same functionality is not present over here this is just like another EBS volume where you have to manage the capacity where you once you increase the volume it cannot be decrease another limitation is you cannot modify this particular volume once created so as you can see i have, I have selected multi attached to the modify option is grayed out so you cannot modify this particular volume so initially you have to think how much size that you have to put on while using the ebs multi attach functionality and obviously io1 the function the performance is always better for io1 as compared to the general purpose environment but still you have to take care of such consideration into mind while using this particular feature and associating all with different instances within the same zonal environment so that's it guys for this particular video i hope you like it so play around on onto your account show it to the management yes we have that functionality if you're facing an issue place out a comment in comment section and i'll be there to help you have a nice day bye bye